Now, the decision coming on the last night of Pride Month, the restaurant Hullabaloo in downtown West Palm Beach, wrapping up the celebration with a night featuring drag performers. WPTV's Joe Lopez is at the restaurant with why people say the Supreme Court ruling is so significant. Today is a celebration of the accomplishments the LGBTQ plus community has made over the years, but today is also a time to come together as they say many recent laws are challenging their freedoms. On the final night of Pride Month, about 14 drag queens, the celebration, high heels at Hullabaloo. We don't back down, that we continue to showcase our talent and be who we are in public and in whatever stage possible is a reminder of the Stonewall riots over 50 years ago that paved the way for gay rights. Unfortunately, what we've seen this past year and especially the last couple months is kind of moving backwards. This after months of what's being called anti-LGBTQ plus laws that most recently the Supreme Court ruled in favor of a web designer that refused to work with same-sex weddings citing religious objections. If I choose to not do business with someone because of their race, color, or creed, then you know, if I go against that, then I would be dishonest to myself. You know, I wouldn't be my true authentic self. At Kana House Studios, a content creation company, Akai Jackson says while the ruling may have been a victory for the web designer, it may lose her customers in the long run. You know, I was brought up and raised to treat all people equally, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, and that's what we'll continue to do here at Kana House Studios. He says their studio is open to all, but worries that the ruling may cause other businesses to deny people not just on sexual orientation, but also on race and religion. As a community, we are stronger together. So when we're out here and we are not only cheering each other on, but also bringing some light and some love into the community, I think that also speaks volumes about the type of city and the people that live in it. Tonight I'm told that Rodney Mayo, which is the owner of Subculture Group that runs Hullabaloo, will be donating all their proceeds from dinner and seating and giving it back to the drag queens. Reporting in West Palm Beach, Joel Lopez, WPTV, News Channel 5.